Hi, my name is Jerry Kramer. I'm on the board of directors of the Model T Ford Club of America. And several years ago, after we finished building the vintage garage on the other side of this wall, several of us got together and we thought it would be pretty nice if we had a machine shop to go along with the vintage garage over there. Most of your uh, larger agencies or dealerships would have had such a machine shop. I'm standing, right now I'm standing in the middle of what we have come up with. We think this is a pretty accurate representation of what a Ford agency would have had in terms of a machine shop. So the first thing that we had to do was we had to put out a call to our membership to see if we could come up with any kind of machines that would fit in that era. And these machines have come from all over the United States, from the West Coast to the East Coast. The vertical mill right beside me here came from Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, so over a period of about nine or ten months, I've put all that, or we put all this together, and we now have a working machine shop. In a modern machine shop, each one of these machines would have been individually powered with electric motor. In the old days, they didn't do it that way. They had one power source. It might have been a steam engine, it might have been a hit and miss engine or an old gasoline engine, maybe even an engine out of an old Model T would have powered it. It also could have been a, an old time electric motor. We opted to use electric motor obviously for the convenience. We can just start it up anytime we want to. We don't have to worry about whether the motor or the engine is going to start. Uh, we would have really liked to use one of those old power or the old electric throw switches, the old fork switches like Frankenstein would have had. But the electric code people wouldn't let us use that. So we had to, had to go ahead and put in modern conveniences. I can start all this stuff up with just a push of a button. So I'm going to walk around behind the grill press. All I have to push is one green button and the whole thing will light up. 